G'day everyone. I'm out at White Peg Road on the corner of Gordon's Track, if anyone's following along at home. I've got the not quite a P5 air chime, it's a, a copy uh, that was fitted to a Spino rail grinder. Um, it looks like a P, it's got a block manifold, like a block of aluminium manifold, not a gull wing or a low profile. Um, same internal layout, I've got photos and everything I'll direct you to or you can see on my page. But yeah, when I got it, it was sounding one and a half bells. And it was filthy dirty, covered in in um, soot and that sort of thing. Pulled it apart, soaked it in oil, pulled it apart, cleaned it right up. Um, and yeah, it sounds pretty nice. Um, that's my wife up there. She's going to get a bit of a shock in a minute. But yeah, I'm on about 90 PSI. And on the remote solenoid. I'm at about oh, 60 metres away. I'll just give it a couple of goes on the half stage. It's pretty nice and mellow. Give it the full stage. Yeah, so it's on the full stage, it leads with the, the number one bell, it's pretty bottom endy, but on the half stage you hear it sort of the rest of the bells take the leads. So I like that, that's pretty nice. Give it a couple of more and then I'll swap to a genuine P5. Back now, I've changed over to a genuine air chime P5. Same pressure, I just charged back up uh, from nine. That first couple of blasts went from 90 to about 60. So I've charged back up to 90. And here's the genuine P5 on half stage. That's beautiful and smooth on half. So there you go, the uh, the fake chime P5 and a air chime P5.